Hey everybody, it is time for another Halloween product review. Now I was on the Halloweenforum.com website the other day. I've been on this site for years, getting great tips and sharing some of my own and so forth. And I happened to log in the other day and it was the first time I logged in in probably a couple of months. And the first thing I see is a thread that is titled, Anybody Have the Ruby's Costume Iron Fence Kit? And of course, I thought that sounds familiar, and I believe it was the product that I had purchased way back when in 2011. So I open up the thread, and lo and behold, it actually is the exact same thread that I started back in 2011. So my first thought when I logged in was, I need to share my experience with this product. And it's not something that I thought I would ever do a review on, but we're gonna do one today. Because back then I asked, has anybody used these fence kits from Ruby's Costumes? And I linked to it. It's, it was on Amazon, and it's actually still on Amazon. You can find it. Um, I'll put a link to the thread below, but I'm not going to link to the Amazon product page because, well, as you're going to see, I don't recommend the product. Anyway, it says, I saw them on clearance for $18 each, marked down from $52, and was wondering if these would be a good substitution for a homemade PVC cemetery fence. Let me tell you, this was how I learned the hard way that just because something is on sale doesn't mean it is a good deal. Now, you know, Amazon sellers can list their items at whatever price they want to sell it at. So if they want to sell something that they got from the dollar store, which I have actually seen before, like for instance, I had to leave a review not too long ago either about a one of those little like um, cardboard cupcake holders that you can find at the dollar store that they were trying to sell on Amazon for like $4, you know, so I was like, you can get these on at the dollar store. Um, so that's kind of the same situation that I found this product in. I don't know where you would find the this cemetery fence kit in the real world. Maybe you can't. Maybe it's just a Ruby's thing and maybe they do sell them for $52. But I'm going to let you be the judge of that when I show them to you here in a moment. So, you know, back then in 2011, Somebody had said, um, no, 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 they're not worth it. Um, if you're using them inside against a wall, they would be pretty good. I actually agree with that. Um, outside, uh, heck to the no, they said. They're too short in height and length and would take too many kits to cover a small area. Well, you know, at the time I was just starting out, we'd just gotten our house in 2010, so I was looking for some way to do a PVC fence. Um, and you know, they have tutorials Eventually, I'll probably do one, show you how I did my own, which I love. I think it turned out pretty great. I've used it so many years since. This product, however, I have not used since. Now, when we look at the Amazon webpage where they sell this product, we see, you know, in the description it says, well, you can already see that the description itself is messed up. It says, in the description, fun costumes for kids and adults. Well, that could be referring to the company, so no big deal there. Whether it's for Halloween, a themed party, or even for giggles, beautiful colors, hand wash needed, excellent for dress up. Well, as you can see, it's already starting to be all messed up in the description here. Includes three sections of vacuum formed fencing. That is true, even though in the picture, it looks like they show four sections made of PVC pipes and wooden stakes. Well, that's not true. There's nothing wooden in this kit at all. And those PVC pipes would not be the sort of PVC you would expect, you know, from the typical PVC fences that the haunters do this day and age. I don't know if this sort of vacuum formed um, cheap plastic is considered PVC. That's a little bit too technical for me, um, but it's definitely not what I was expecting. It says, add a creepy decoration to your haunted house. Well, yeah, maybe. Packed in a reusable storage chest. So you can kind of see offhand, you know, they make it sound like this is going to be a high quality product that comes in a storage chest. So it might justify the $52 original sales price, even though they've taken that off of the webpage at this time. So, you know, I was willing to kind of take a gamble on it, but it doesn't come in any sort of reusable storage chest. Also see Ruby Cemetery Club Graveyard Kit. Well, I haven't looked at that. We're not gonna explore that today because based on these um, 
things I'm about to show you, I doubt they're worth it. So what did I get? Now, you know, it doesn't exactly say in the description here what the length of this, oh yeah, it does actually, probably. It's 18 inches wide, it says, and that's per section. So when you go ahead and put a few sections together, you'd have what, maybe, uh, I, I don't know, I can't do the math off hand in my head, a little over three feet, right? So um, four feet. So I bought, I think, six of these at about $20 each. So that came out to be like $120 I spent on this. All right, so what did I get? <clears throat> well, I can't remember at this point if it came with any packaging. I don't think it did. The um, reusable storage chest was, you know, a plastic bag. And inside, it comes with some PVC stakes, or not, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's PVC, but you know, little plastic stakes. So it's got a little stake piece that you put in these little plastic tubes so we can stake it into the ground. So get a bunch of these, and then we get a bunch of these. Now, this is the um, little plastic graveyard fence kit. I'm just going to sit these here if I can. Let's see if it'll stay there. Probably not. All right, so, you know, offhand, it's got a textured front. It's really not awful. These things, well, if I turn it around, you can see. It's, there's no, um, it, you know, there's nothing, there's no body to this. And it's kind of like when you think about those cheap sort of tombstones you can buy that are styrofoam you know you'd stick it in it's gonna wobble it's gonna blow away it's not gonna hold up well in the wind in fact when I do this you can kind of see it bending it does come with these little um, sort of velcro flaps here now so we can actually stick the um, stake in through the bottom there's a little hole in the bottom so let's go ahead and do that here so put it in and then we can sort of Velcro the stake on, if I can get it to do that. All right, so the problem here is, you know, the stake doesn't really hold itself in place. That um, Let me just go ahead and finish Velcroing this bottom one in, just so I don't wanna give you any sort of false impressions like I'm just trying to cheat the product here. But even with these, let me tighten this up just a little bit. All right, so that helps, I guess, a little bit. But there's not a whole lot of bottom um, stake. So again, you can kind of tell already if you're familiar with any sort of staked in lawn products for Halloween, this is not gonna stay in place well. All right, let's go ahead and put the other one in. Now, one thing I noticed, this one seems to be okay, but these little Velcro bits come off very easy as well. And then what are you gonna do? I'd probably try and find one, but I don't know, a little too much effort there. So there you go. You get your little staked thing. This is not at all what I was anticipating it was going to be. I mean, they made it sound like it would be a much higher quality product than this. Um, now, someone on the forums thinks that this product might be worth it. Um, he put on a backing onto the product. I might give it a little bit more body, help it stay in place. And he had suggested that, you know, it's a good way to keep your fog in place. I'm not so sure. I don't think this is gonna hold up in the weather very much. And in fact, if you have like hard clay type soil like I do where these things are gonna be a nightmare to get in the ground anyway, it's not gonna be level because when you take, I mean, you're gonna to wanna to put a few of them together to make any sort of structure. There's no way to clip these in place. The only way that they're gonna to stay together is if you um, pound them into the ground in the exact proper place so that they you know connect together there's no sort of you know latching mechanism on the back i guess you could like duct tape them together but it's just an extra step I, you know for twenty dollars this is you know i would expect that this product would be ready to go look in fact this one you can already see it's cracked in the bottom um these just you know they're not well made they're not going to last you very long and, you know, some might say that $20, what do you expect for $20? But this day and age, you can actually get a lot for $20. You can get a lot better than this for $20. So, I don't know. It's not something I 
can possibly recommend. In fact, I don't think I have used these since the first year that I bought them. In fact, I took um, someone's advice and just you know, leaned them against the wall so that they're together. So it does make a nice indoor prop if it's not going to be outside and, you know, you, if you had like a scene setter background or something and you could lean this against it, give the illusion of a fence, but it doesn't make an actual good fence in reality. So it's my opinion. Let's go ahead and check and see what the reviews are on Amazon. Amazon says that this product, let's see, how many reviews have there been? It doesn't, does it say four reviews? It has four reviews actually, and it's an average of two and a half stars. There's, looks like one person gave it one uh, five star review, that's the best. One person gave it a two star review, and two people gave it a one star review, which is the absolute worst. So let's see, the five star review says, it looks great in my yard. I have some bones and other stuff to create a spooky yard. The delivery was on time, I'm very happy. Okay, well, somebody's very happy with it. So, you know, if you're a small time haunter, you know, this might be a cute, fun little project. All right, but the negative reviews, let's see, let's go the two-star review. They do look like the picture, but the plastic is extremely thin and not sturdy. I can't imagine them lasting outside for long and certainly not for more than one Halloween. Well, you know, if you use them inside, I have had these forever, but I don't even pull them out anymore. They just stay in my storage room forever. In fact, even when I have indoor parties, I don't even bother to bring them out. It's just too much hassle. They don't stay together. What's the point? Um, now to the one star reviews. One person says, um, really the title says it all. It's worth $10, not 30. I sent it back. I wish I had sent it back. <laughs> um, and then lastly, the item is not as described. It says, the kit includes three section vacuum formed fencing with PVC pipes and wooden stakes, all in a reusable storage chest. That's the item description. Um, the discrepancies, one, it's misleading. The kit includes three sections. However, it takes all three to make one section of fence that's shown in the picture. Um, when all three are put together end to end, it produces one section of fencing that's 42 inches long. So between three and four. There are no wooden stakes included and there's no storage chest included. So that's exactly how I found it. I cannot believe they're still selling these. I can't believe people are still buying these because not only is it currently selling for $17.49 for a three section piece of fence, they're also charging $9.54 in shipping. So you are basically paying $30, basically $10 per section. And I can totally see that this should be something you would get at the dollar store. This should re really sell for a dollar. There's no reason that this should cost you $10. Very disappointed. So I guess that's it. Again, it was a lesson that I learned. Um, definitely read the reviews on Amazon. I can't remember if there were reviews when I bought this. I was just so excited because I got, you know, I love a bargain. If you've watched the rest of my videos, you know, I always buy things on clearance after Halloween. So you gotta be careful with that. Um, that's where I got burned. Hopefully I'm saving you from getting burned. I don't recommend this project, but if you have it and it's worked for you, let me know. Um, and let me know, do you think it is worth it? So that's it for today, guys. Stay tuned for some more Halloween reviews. I'll see you later. Happy haunting.